Kaylin Glass has uh, has a problem with how I vlog. What, what was your what was your uh, secret? Where are you going? <laughs> now now you get now you get all like shy when when you're you gotta when you're spice up to, the when, videos. Yeah. This is. I'm do you think is this gonna be? Do you think this is spicy content? I think this is very spicy content. You're gonna nice. need a whole glass of milk for it. Wow. So here we are in week three of uh, our school year. I will try to make the content spicier, <laughs> as it were, uh, but you're probably gonna see a lot of different styles. I'm gonna probably try something a little bit different with this vlog that I have, uh, than I have with the other vlogs. Um, and it probably be, will be like that until I kind of figure out what my style is. Um, anytime you try something new like this, you're really not sure how it's gonna turn out until you give it a try. So I figured, you know, instead of being afraid of it and, you know, not trying anything, I might as well try something and then if I don't like it, I just don't do it that way the next time. You might see some different things from me, but hopefully we'll finally settle on something and uh, we'll have a, a, a good consistent product to show you. All the same, here we are in week three and it's been another really busy week but uh, a productive one, and a lot of great things went on this week. Um, first of all, it was the first week for our JCTC students, so our returning juniors, and then uh, we have seniors now, and that would be cohorts seven and eight uh, that are going over to JCTC, and um, they seemed like they were nervous but excited and some didn't want to talk to me. Uh, they decided that they would try to hide their faces from the camera. I'm thinking of you, Kiedra. But, but, I did finally corner a couple of students and uh, I, got the, I got them to give me their thoughts on how the week went and uh, here's what they said about that. Well, I think our first week went very well. We were all pretty good at like getting accustomed to everything. We all like our teachers for the most part. I personally love our psychology professor, whereas some people don't. Um, I just got so called out. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Sorry. We really like our flip classes, which is basically where we do classwork, like in the actual class, but we do our homework and videos at home. So we do our homework at home, and then we come in ready to build upon that knowledge the very next day. We also continued our mentor-mentee program. We started this all the way back in week one, uh, and we wanted to make sure that we continued it and you know, didn't just make it a one-time thing. So this Wednesday, Ms. Lewis and I set aside a little bit of time in the morning for the students, uh, the sophomores and the freshmen to uh, meet together and talk a little bit about um, how things are going so far this year. Uh, let them uh, also ask each other questions about you know what kind of challenges they're facing, how things are going for them. We're having them journal, but it's not really something that I'm wanting to read. And I even told them that you know other than just having you know us check to make sure that they are uh, engaging with one another and talking to one another, um, I don't want to read the contents of those things just because um, I kind of want to build a relationship of trust between those two individuals and make sure that they are, um, that they can talk about things that maybe they don't necessarily want to say to us, um, you know, about maybe personal relationships that they have with other students. We want the students to be able to have uh, intimate conversations with one another about how things are going and, and feel like they can be open to each other um, without worrying about us sort of seeing those things and, um, you know, trying to, trying to deal with them. Because um, sometimes you just need to vent. And I think sometimes the students feel like they can vent a little bit better with one another than they can with us. And, and that's okay. And I wanna encourage the students to be able to do that with each other. This past Wednesday, we also had our first labs of the year. Uh, Ms. Lewis uh, did a biology lab where she had the students develop what are called Wynogradsky columns. 
And the Von Grabowski column is um, a great sort of little biome, a miniature biome that sort of develops over time. And uh, the students were able to get out into some of the wetlands that we have back behind our building, and they were able to collect uh, the things necessary to make those little miniature biomes. Uh, we also collected a few fish that didn't end up doing so well, so we ended up putting them back into the wetlands so that they could actually survive. I think the, the students really enjoyed the ability to get out and, and do a little bit of science, and hopefully the Winogradsky columns uh, turn out really well for them. For our sophomores, we were able to get started with our uh, physics lab activity, and the physics lab was really focused on allowing them to see the graphical side of motion. So the students did some distance time graphs and some velocity time graphs. And the main focus that I had for them was to be able to better interpret and understand what's happening on a velocity time graph and a distance time graph uh, when, they, when they do those types of things. Uh, the reason for that is because I found out from our juniors, now seniors, that when they took their physics class in JCTC, they were really not as prepared as I felt like they should be. And so, on reflecting a little bit about what I could be doing better as a physics teacher to uh, better prepare the students, I felt like it would be good to, to go ahead and provide them with these types of opportunities because that is what they'll be seeing when they get to the JCTC side of things. We also had our first GE meeting of the year. So Mr. Ekbundit came in and he met with the students and introduced the project to them, which I think is going to be a really awesome project. Um, it involves trying to build furniture uh, for Bernheim Forest that is both sustainable, uh, made of sustainable materials, but also is focused on mobility for people who have disabilities, whether that's a permanent disability or temporary disability or just for the elderly. And I think this project is just really cool for a lot of reasons. Um, not only does it allow our students the ability to um, flex their creativity, but it also gives them the opportunity to help people that would really benefit from their skills and their knowledge. And so being able to give back to your community and also be able to use your engineering skills in the process um, or hone those skills, I think is fantastic for um, our community, but also fantastic for our students because they start to think about, you know, of something other than themselves. And um, I, I want to try to focus on building selfless individuals, people that want to make the world a better place. Um, and, and, I, and I really do hope that this project helps them to do that. Mr. Ekbundit brought out a couple of engineers uh, with him that day who were working with our students on, on trying to generate some ideas as to what they could do their project on. And it sounded like from the conversations I was hearing that it's going to be a lot of uh, fun and we're going to have some really, really awesome projects. So stay tuned for that. On Thursday, we had an extravaganza. So. After school, Ms. Lewis had a beta meeting, the very first beta meeting for Riverview um, for this school year. And we discussed uh, what, the, what the school year is gonna look like and we elected our officers. And then after that, uh, we had our first get together and the students uh, from all different cohorts uh, got together, played games with each other. Um, and that was leading up to our meeting with the parents at 6.30 where uh, Mr. Bennett again came back, but this time brought a couple of recruiter friends with him. Um, and he explained to our parents a, an exclusive opportunity for our BAMS program that I think is really awesome for our students and I think for GE. Now, the way that it goes is that basically GE hire appliances, they have to send out their recruiters to any number of different places around the country. And that costs them thousands of dollars to do. So why not try to go after local talent that's here in Kentucky? And that's exactly what they want to do. And they want to partner with the Bullet Advanced Math and Science program to make that happen. So while there's no 
there are no strings attached. There, there's no, uh, there's no hard and fast rule that, you know, the students have to go into uh, higher appliances uh, once they get into their into their engineering school. But should they choose to go into engineering and should they choose to want to do a co-op once they get into engineering at uh, U of L, Hire wants to be able to have the opportunity to provide them a co-op opportunity and basically let them get their foot in the door for a career at higher appliances. So the ability for our students to have this relationship with one of the major employers in, uh, in you know, our, our area is a really awesome prospect. And I really hope that this is the beginning of uh, additional relationships that we build with other industries here um, locally because my ultimate goal for these students and for our program is to be able to ultimately give back economically to the district that's given so much to us in terms of resources. Um, so that's sort of my broader goal and I can only hope that this, this starting relationship that we have with GE this year um, blossoms into additional opportunities for our students um, in the future. So we'll see. We also met with our parents for the first time. It was a great turnout. Uh, our parents are by far one of the best resources that we have in our program and they are part of what allow us to do the things that we do. They give us so much in terms of support and their time and their resources uh, to make sure that their students are getting the best possible experience here at BAMS. So I can't say enough about them. They've done some great work already for us and we look forward to continuing to work with them this year. We've had a few challenges this week. Uh, one of them has, has been our internet. It's been a little bit flaky and it's no one's fault in particular. Uh, we've been told that it's a firewall issue and that a couple of districts are dealing with the problem, us included. So we've kind of had intermittent uh, internet activity, but you know, it's, it's just uh, a way for us to kind of exercise our creativity in our lessons and um, come up with some alternative ways that we can teach um, were our internet to go out. So it's kept us on our toes this week. And finally, I have some continued frustrations in my teaching. Uh, you know, physics continues to be a challenge for me. Um, I've said it often to my students that it is my first love as far as subjects are concerned, but it's the one that I feel like I teach the least well. It's because I have so much head knowledge, but I'm really poor at, at pedagogy. I'm really poor at teaching it. And um, that's been a frustration of mine from early on up through today. And I'm continuing to work through that. And the students have been really patient with me. And I'm so grateful to them for that. Um, and we're continuing to sort of work out maybe something that works really well for them and for me. Um, so that's going to continue to be a dialogue between us uh, as we go on throughout the school year. But I always remain hopeful that my teaching will get better and that it will lead to better outcomes for my students. And that's always my prime focus, everything else included uh, going on around me. But um, all the same, I'm pretty happy with the way that things have gone this, this week. Uh, it continues to be a really good year. Uh, our students are continuing to still bond and um, you know, form really close relationships with each other. And I hope that continues to be the case. Um, we have a lot to be grateful for. And I might say that we have our challenges, but we have so many more blessings and so many other great things that are going on that you know, when you think about them, uh, the, the, the small things that might be annoyances or challenges pale in comparison. So I'm grateful for it and it's been a great week three. I am excited for another great week next week. Uh, we'll be going back to Bernheim and doing some more research and hopefully uh, getting some great data. We will follow up with you guys again next week and who knows what that vlog will look like. but. I am going to continue to try and uh, put this content out and always make it fresh, always make it fabulous. So until then, bye for now.